So it's the new year and we are all focused on wanting to make positive changes in our life. And one of the best changes we can make is focusing on healthier eating habits. And when it comes to making healthier eating habits, the best thing you can do is track your food. And that's why I am so excited to be here working with my fitness pal to share with you the tips and tricks that you can implement today to have a healthier you this new year. Keeping a food record is so important because the food you eat, they don't just impact the number on the scale. They impact everything from your energy to your mood, to your ability to focus and even to sleep. One of my favorite tools when keeping a food record is to use the MyFitnessPal app. This free app is great because they have over 200 million members and they have a database of over 14 million foods, which means when you're entering the foods that you've eaten, whether you scan them in or you type them in, you're not just seeing that, oh, I ate an apple or I ate a slice of bread. You're actually seeing verified nutrition information. And when you see that information, you can really start to understand what you're putting into your body as well as the impact it has on everything from energy, mood, focus, and even sleep. You know, the average person takes in about three times more added sugar than they should. And the problem with that is it can send our blood sugar on this roller coaster where we have highs and lows and that can have a negative impact on mood. So what I love to do is instead of buying sweetened yogurt, which some brands can have as much as three teaspoons of added sugar per serving, you can sweeten your yogurt naturally. So you get unflavored yogurt, you put frozen berries on it with a little vanilla extract, and as the berries thaw, the juices kind of blend in with the yogurt and it sweetens it naturally without the added sugar. Right now, a lot of people are trying out low carb diets or keto diets, and they can fall short of fiber. And fiber keeps us full longer and it gives us more steady energy. Real simple solution is to take chia seeds and sprinkle them onto your salad or even in a smoothie. They're a great way to add more fiber without more carbs. And same thing if you're going more plant-based. If you're having just a bowl of cereal in the morning, try throwing some almonds on it. It's a great way to add more plant-based protein to help you stay full longer. I'm a mom of three little ones, and I definitely see that sleep gets impacted a lot by my behaviors. And a big one is through diet. Too much caffeine, especially later in the day, was making it harder to fall asleep and stay asleep. So looking at, instead of using caffeine as my crutch, I looked at boosting physical activity to help boost my energy, drinking more water, and getting more of those foods that help to improve the quality of my sleep. And then I was able to get better rest. You also wanna really work to eliminate distractions at mealtime. Because if we're sitting down and we're answering emails while we're trying to eat, it's hard to really pay attention to what's going in. I actually like to put my fork down in between bites because it forces me to eat more slowly. You notice when you're satisfied versus stuffed and that way you can really make sure you're fueling your body with what it needs, but not more than it needs. Making sure that you're physically active every day is so important. And I know, you know, especially if you're a parent, it's busy and it's hard to necessarily get to the gym, but you don't have to go to the gym to get more physical activity. On a busy day, I love to get outside with my kids and just play with them in the yard, or maybe you go for a walk as a family, but it's getting up and getting moving because what it does is it releases those endorphins. So it lifts your mood, it lowers stress. It can help you to better focus and energize you. So it's really important to make it a habit to get up and get moving each day for our health, but also for how we feel.